here in the Wichita Mountains. Uh, it's December, getting close to winter, but it's 75 degrees here in southwest Oklahoma. So typical for December, it'll be up and down. Supposed to be uh, in the low 50s, high 40s tomorrow with a pretty gusty north wind. So figured I'd get out here today while the weather's nice and get some climbing in. Uh, so I'm coming in the Indiahoma Gate, uh, the southwest side of the Wichita Mountains, and I'll be climbing in Charon's Garden again. Now I've climbed every mountain out here that's over 2,000 foot, but uh, I don't have any video footage of Twin Rocks Mountain, so I'm going to start off by the Badlands and approach Twin Rocks from the southwest side today. So it's going to be really austere, really rocky, uh, really steep climbing, so it will be difficult and it's going to take several hours. So the side that I'm approaching Twin Rocks Mountain on uh, is probably one of the least traveled. So, but it uh, should be a lot of fun. Uh, I'll be taking my time. I do feel a lot better. I've been fighting a sinus infection off, but I feel like I've got most of it out of my system now, and I feel really good. So should be able to make some good time today. But this is a portion of Charon's Garden that I have not been through yet. So I'm going to follow along Styx Canyon, and I have seen the northern portion of Styx Canyon. But some of the parts that I'll be walking along today are, you know, three to four hundred feet high. So wouldn't be surprised to run into some longhorn and elk, and stuff like that. So anyway, that is, parking spot is right here. So I'm going to park, get geared up, and get ready to go. All right, so that's the gate right there, the Indiahoma gate. So I am going to get started. Head across the Badlands. It's just a small little area that's real dusty and dirty looking, and it does resemble the Badlands somewhat. So I'll head over there first, get some pictures and a little bit of footage, and then start making my way around the western side of Granite Mountain. Well, I've already made it to the Badlands, it's just right off the road here. Really small area, but it's, it's really cool looking. It does resemble a mini Badlands like in South Dakota. I have yet to make it up there, but I will one day, it's on the list. That's Granite Mountain rising up there in the background. Twin Rocks Mountain is just on the other side of it. Shouldn't have a problem with water crossings today because it hasn't rained in, man, over 40 days, I suppose. Cold front coming in is not going to bring any rain either. So not sure when we'll get some precipitation here, but won't have any negative effect on hiking today. All right, so came out of the area that the Badlands is in now. I'm gonna start curving my path that direction towards Mount Mitchell, which is right there. Styx Canyon runs right over that hill right there. I'm gonna run right into Twin Rocks Mountain. So I can't see Twin Rocks Mountain because it's on the other side of Granite Mountain. And it'll be a little bit before I actually see it. So I'm gonna stay as low as I can for a while. Probably after that forest right there, I'll go ahead and climb up and then follow Styx Canyon northeast. I actually did stumble across a little bit of water. It's a pretty good sized buffalo right over there. He's resting. I'll go around him. Continue heading that way. All right, right about a mile in to the hike, still going north. That's uh, part of Granite Mountain, not the summit, but just a offshoot of it, and same with that up there. So that's Charon's Garden Mountain there, and then Mount Mitchell over there. It's all part of Mount Mitchell Massive. So Styx Canyon is right down there. You can probably see that chasm. Perimeter fence is right here. So I'm just gonna hug that until I get around the corner. Once I get around that corner, I should be able to see Twin Rocks Mountain. So we'll see. It's starting to get really rugged. See some elk over here. See how close I get to them before they take off completely.
can see them right here. There we go. Alright, getting the first look at Styx Canyon. Mount Mitchell Massif there in the background. Sharon's Garden Mountain. Well, those elk can disappear quick. I have no idea where they went. They're fast. Anyway, I'm just going to keep uh, going along here trying to stay up. I don't want to go into the bottom of the canyon because then I'll just have to come up get back to Twin Rocks Mountain. So there's Granite Mountain right there. Still can't see Twin Rocks Mountain yet. A lot of rocky mountains out here, man. It's crazy. All right, so coming up to Styx Canyon. This will be the southernmost portion of it. Not too deep right here. There's parts where it gets pretty deep. So I'm gonna keep heading along here. Try right, to go along and cut across. This is Granite Mountain. I'm starting to see Twin Rocks Mountain come out from behind it there, so. Keep on heading along the canyon here and uh, head towards Twin Rocks Mountain. So I'm not sure what the name of this creek is that runs through here. Runs through here in Styx Canyon. Uh, a little bit of water sitting down there. Probably be a pretty neat sight after a good spring rain. So I'm going to drop down on the bottom of the canyon and then follow it up there. It's like my best way to get around all of Granite Mountain. Trying to find the best place that's a steep. I might have it here on this rock. Just a typical Charon's Garden climb. Get quite a bit more of this ahead. Ugh, all right. I'm in the bowels of Styx Canyon. Crossing over to the other side and going on up. I'm pretty sure I'll have to cut across it one more time. It's all right though. <clears throat> Tell you what, I'm gonna come back out and check out some of these places once it rains. So this is cool. All right, came out of the southern portion of Styx Canyon. So that's Twin Rocks Mountain right there. That's where I'm going up. So I just gotta pick my poison, man. It's a steep mountain all the way around. 
I have successfully made it on the east side before. So now I'm going to try it from the west southwest side and see. I mean, I've got some steep rocks ahead of me, but should be some good views and fun and challenging. So take me a break here and push on. Right now I'm in the heart of the Charon's Garden Wilderness area. I mean, the most remote area you can be in as far as the public use area is concerned. I haven't seen much else since the pair of elk that I saw. There goes a pretty good sized buck right there, just as I'm talking. Hell, if I wouldn't have been talking, I probably got closer to him. A six or an eight pointer. A lot of the times you come upon a deer out here and they don't even run. They are so used to seeing people out here and desensitized to anything, they just keep going on their business. Right, there's Twin Rocks Mountain. <clears throat> all right, so I'm here in the basin between all these mountains. Terrence Garden Mountain and then unnamed mountain, Twin Rocks Mountain, Granite Mountain. So I'm going to head back in there a little ways and then start my way up. It just looks too steep over that direction. And I know there's a deep canyon right there. So best bet's just to head on through there and then start climbing up the western side. All right, so I'm back in Sticks Canyon. I did try to go up right there and it was just too steep. I couldn't do it safely. And it's the same thing all along here, so. I'm just going to keep pushing down and worst case I can curve around and come up the north side and I tried to come up the north side before but I couldn't get across the canyon because it was too steep so as long as I stay to this side I should be okay but uh yeah it's right here to the east of me it's steep on this side but I knew that already so we'll find a way up all right so I was down there a few minutes ago I think I found a spot that might be able to get up so I'm on my way up right now just taking a break heading up the western side of Twin Rocks Mountain pretty steep uh, I think I got a good avenue so we'll find out shortly still heading up this challenging western slope of Twin Rocks Mountain it's every bit as difficult as it's built to be I can't even imagine how difficult this would be in the summertime with all these things fully in bloom. Wouldn't be able to see your next step or anything. squeeze through here with my backpack on so I gotta take it off <sighs> yeah still pretty hard I'm getting there though getting towards the top starting to gain some elevation the views are starting to get really nice Man, I hope I don't run into a dead end up here. All right, so I'm gonna head up there, skirt around up there then. At that point, I'm not sure how far from the summit I am. I'd say I'm probably be halfway up at that point, we'll see. Now, once I get over there, I know there's a false summit then I have to go down and then up to the real summit, so we shall see. Thank <laughs> you. 
Sucker's big. I mean, it is 2,200 feet tall. The maze continues. All right, I have logged about three miles. Let's say I'm about halfway up Twin Rocks Mountain, coming up this challenging west side. Shouldn't be too much further until I get to the false summit that flattens out and then from there not much more climbing. Uh, this is all just scrambling this entire western face. It's kind of fun though. A little bit painful but it's a good workout. This is what I wanted so anyway pushing forward I'm heading that way. I'm still trudging along here towards the top of Twin Rocks Mountain. The gap is closing as far as trying to find a way to the very top. Tried a couple of ways, couldn't get up. So now I'm looking some more over this direction. There we go, I can get higher there. It's just kind of like switchback mentality. I just keep going along the rocks until I can find a way up. I'm kind of zigzagging for the most part. But while very steep, this part will work. mountain dead ahead of me. Good view of Sticks Canyon where I came in on. Yeah, that's about a two or three hundred foot drop off there between Granite Mountain and Twin Rocks Mountain. Let's make sure I keep my footing. getting there slowly but surely uh, hey these damn crevasses uh, it's time for a break getting close to the summit Good view here. Big neighbor next door at Granite Mountain. There's a little bit further to go. Should be able to see the true summit once I get up there. So, about got this thing whipped. Boy, that was tough. That western side was just as tough as everybody said it was. Alright, made it to the top of the false summit. Uh, now I can see the real summit. So here in a second, I'll just go down right there and go right on up and I'll be done. So shouldn't be too difficult from here, but we'll see. It's still pretty steep right there as well. So this is the third time I've attempted to climb Twin Rocks Mountain. First time I tried, I came from over there. Crab Eyes is right on the other side over there, but when you get right down to there, 
it's just impossible. The boulders are too big. The drop off is two, three hundred feet. So I was running out of time. I had to call it quits. So I came back the second time and did it from the other side, which is the east side. So this time I'm coming from the west side. Definitely more difficult, but uh, I'm still going to make it. Just about there. So I'm in the crevasse between uh, the summit of Twin Rocks Mountain and the other side of it. But that valley right down there, I mean, it's Styx Canyon, that's the northern side. You can see crab eyes right over there. That area right there, boy, it's bananas. It is hard. That is what I would consider probably the center of Charon's Garden Wilderness area. Just, it's so hard to get down there. It's so hard to get out. It's, it's brutal. Just about there. Trying to decide the best route. Working out all these different routes that I can see in my head and most of them look like dead ends, so. Probably just back out and go back down to there and go up. Seems to make more sense than trying over this direction. All right, so it's getting close to four o'clock, so I've got a couple of hours till it's pitch black and dark, so I'm gonna have to alter my course on the way back once I reach the summit. I have to go back towards the uh, Treasure Lake parking lot. That way, if I do run out of light, I can just take the parking or the, the road back. And I can walk along the road in dark. It's not a big deal, but I don't wanna be out here in the wilderness with all these big rocks and drop-offs in the dark. Right. making my way through the canyon onto the other side and then on up to the summit. Should be there in a little bit. This gives you a good idea of how steep this is. It's insane. I'm just about there. I'm kind of in more of a hurry now since I'm starting to run out of time. Amazingly, the sun, or the wind has just like disappeared. It was really gusty when I started, and now it's non-existent. And I just finished saying that there was no wind. No sooner did I turn off the recording, did the wind hit out of the north. Cold front's hitting. because I'm on the summit now. Very windy. Just like last time I was up here. Now I am on top of the 2,178 foot Twin Rocks Mountain. Made it from the difficult western slope. More like Western Cliff. It's very tough. But I'm here now. That rock, that's the actual summit. All right, made it. Second time. Sharon's Gardens. Hard to see on the GoPro, but Crab Eyes is just right over there. And above it is Twin Rocks Mountain. Way back there on the horizon, the tallest mountain, the Wichita Mountain. Haley Peak. You can see all the way out there on the horizon. She can tell what those are. Quartz Mountains, Quartz Mountain State Park. Switch over to that. 
camera came in on, I parked just on the other side out there off of the road. It's about a four mile trek, so with the darkness setting in, a couple of hours, actually less than that, I'm gonna go down the eastern side and then head over there to see a couple of cars, head down to the Treasure Lake. Definitely difficult coming up that western side, but it was fun. I'm glad I did it. Anyway, I'm about to go ahead and start heading down. Luckily, with the wind coming up, but still, I don't have to worry about that much on the way down. So, all right. There's a porcupine right there. I didn't even know those were out here. Six tenths of a mile down. Get a view of Echo Dome, Elk Mountain. Still making my way down. That porcupine slowed me down. That was cool though. I was starting to lose the sun behind Granite Mountain. I may not see it again because by the time I get down to the parking lot, it's probably going to be down. We'll see. Still making my way down the southeast face of Twin Rocks Mountain. Good shot of Mount Lincoln and Bat Cave Peak. Those are both really fun mountains to climb, as is Elk Mountain. Very challenging. I've got about a mile and three tenths coming down to that creek. I'll be making my crossing here shortly, heading on out of here. Beautiful view though from right here. You can see Elk Mountain and Mount Lincoln right here. You can see the rock faces of them, just beautiful. I haven't seen any more interesting animals. But still got a little bit to left to hike, so who knows what could happen. All right, crossing the dried up creek here. Now when this thing normally has water in it, it flows into Post Oak Lake. Now, this isn't Post Oak Creek. Post Oak Creek is on the other side where the waterfalls are at. Funny enough, Post Oak Creek flows into Treasure Lake. So I'm not sure why it's named that way, but anyway, there's no water in it, so it doesn't matter, it's dry. I'm gonna head up here head towards that clearing and I'll be home free. And you got a real good view of the cliffs there on Elk Mountain. It's just several different canyons that come down. Boy, that's some steep climbing, especially over there. 
that the one Gavin and I came down right over there. Pretty steep. I wouldn't say it's as steep as those, but it was uh, it was pretty hairy in a few spots. There's Mount Lincoln. That cave peak. Yeah, I'm still trekking on out of here. Starting to put some space behind me and Twin Rocks Mountain now. Good view of Post Oak Lake right there. So there's the clearing I'm aiming for. I'm gonna go down here and get that and hook up with the Sharon's Garden Trail and head south on it until I hit the parking lot and then the paved road. I'm good. Well, that wind is chilly. Left Twin Rocks Mountain about an hour ago. Be a pretty good time coming down. Got about probably a mile and a half to walk now to get back to my truck. So I think it was smarter to go this way if I'd have gone the other way. I'd probably still be coming down Twin Rocks Mountain, but also I'd be in Sticks Canyon fighting the dark. So this is the much safer route. I've done about six miles all the way around. Back to the parking lot here. Now I did not park here, so I've still got about a mile and a half or so to walk, but it's all paved roads. Alright, not much longer. I'll be back. Seven and a half miles later, I'm just about finished. There's a big old longhorn back there in the middle of the road. I had to go all the way around him, and he was mirroring off with me, so that took some time to safely get around him. Anyway, just about there. Made a big old loop around that mountain there today, Granite Mountain. Almost out of here. Eight miles later. 16,000 steps later, I'm finished. So it was a really good hike today. Uh, it took a lot longer than I expected, but went along Styx Canyon and then went to the top of Twin Rocks Mountain and then down the other side and made a big loop. Saw a lot of really cool wildlife. Uh, deer, buffalo, longhorn, porcupine, which that blew my mind. Uh, I'm gonna have to check and make sure it was actually a porcupine, not like a hedgehog or something, but I'll get verification from the experts when I get home. But uh, it was a really cool hike. All around, just another great day in the Wichita's.